Hi, I'm Ashley. Welcome to my channel. And in today's video, I'm going to show you how to make the mayor from Nightmare Before Christmas. What you're going to need is a lampshade, a hot glue gun, some black tape, a pair of scissors, a pool noodle, and a piece of cardboard. One of my biggest goals here on YouTube is to try to find simple ways to do crafts for people that might not feel the most comfortable and just try to encourage people to be creative, be artistic, even if you don't feel like that's your thing. There are ways that you can find that you can do stuff like this. And my goal is to make it as simple as possible because I just want to encourage people to, you know, create stuff. So, with that being said, now I just kind of laid the lampshade on top of the cardboard and just cut around, kind of, kind of eyed it a little bit, but you can measure it if you want. And obviously I use this to paint, but I'm just going to take this black tape and put tape all over this and I got this pool noodle and I just cut it and I tried to kind of cut it at an angle because I think his hat is kind of angled but I thought this was a really good idea I was so happy when I thought about that but I'm just going to cover this and this in black tape because I think it'll be the easiest. I think it would be kind of a nightmare to try to t uh, paint this. Yeah, something I don't, I don't want to do. Painting this wasn't challenging, but painting this would be. To me, at least. I think this is craft tape. It's not like anything like heavy duty. It's just plain regular craft tape. But I'm just going to take it. And try to get it on there as straight as I can. Okay. Well, we've got one strip done. <laughs> and there are probably other ways to do this, but this is just what I thought of because, like I said, I didn't want... I really love the idea of the pool noodle, but I did not want to paint this. I hate painting foam. When you're going around the circle, you kind of have to pull down a little bit. Or, I mean, if it bubbles, then make sure if you've got some of those bubbles that it's on the back side. Because that's going to get hot glued down anyway, so who cares. And it might just be easier to go around it um, one strip at a time so you're not having to wrap it because, I mean, it is a circle. It might be a lot easier to just go one one row at a time so I got this part done and the top part looks pretty good. Now the back part, not so much, but nobody's gonna be able to see it. So now we're gonna move on to the pull noodle. And I am gonna cover the bottom here in the tape, or maybe I'll just cover the top. It might be able to stick. I'm gonna tape the bottom too. Ta-da, now we have this done. I think this actually took less time than this did. We have this and this and this. Basically, that's all you need. I wanna go over the face real quick. Now, I have a small lampshade just because that's what I had. 
but you can use a bigger one whatever size you want to use this is just what i had on hand and it didn't take me very long to do this but if you had a big lampshade it might take a while i mean this probably took me a few hours but and then with the stencil thing you just need to print it out to size like whatever size that you want for the face depending on your lampshade size but i think i think that might work just to do the stencil and just kind of use it as a guide to paint i mean it doesn't have to be perfect anyway like i just I just did this. I didn't really stress out too much about it, you know what I mean? But it's not perfect, but you can tell who it is, I think. What I'm going to do is I'm just going to take glue around here and then just stick the hat on. And it will be a miracle if I get it on there completely symmetrical. I'm going to try my best, but no promises on that. It's a little bit more in towards the back part, but I actually kind of prefer that. I actually kind of prefer the bad side to have more of the brim. That was kind of a happy accident right there. I should have maybe put it on face in this way, but I was so concerned with it being symmetrical that way. Oh well. I actually kind of like it, so... And then I'm just going to take the glue and do this. Now I'm going to kind of set up a little bit higher so I can actually see what I'm doing. Now, one thing I am going to say is if you use a bigger lampshade, they sell larger pool noodles and that might look better with it than the smaller ones. I just got the smaller ones because I'm using a smaller lampshade. But if you use a bigger lampshade, getting a bigger pool noodle might be what's best. And I think I saw somewhere where people were making the entire body for him. Now, I don't know how to do that. But I actually, I might watch some tutorials myself and figure out how to do that because I might end up just making this the whole thing. Well, he's basically done now. So here's the front, and here's the back. This is so cute. Oh, I love it. I don't really know where I'm gonna put it right now, but I'm for sure gonna be able to find a place. It's so cute. And I also, what you'll see is I put, I didn't put it straight in the middle. This is just preference for me. A lot of people that would drive them crazy but I didn't put it in the middle because since the brim is so long here I put it towards this way because I thought that that would look better because if it was back further like actually in the center I thought it would look too far away from this part I just want to let everyone know too that I'm going to do a whole Nightmare Before Christmas series I have a lot of crafts to do with a bunch of different characters and like just stuff to do with the movie. So stay tuned for that. That it's going to be so much fun. I am so excited about it. I'll leave it as a surprise. I want to talk about it so bad, <laughs> but I'll just, I'll just stop. I'll stop while I'm ahead. Let me know in the comments if you're going to try this or if you do something different. Um, Tell me if you have your own ideas and just, you know, share with me. I would love to hear about it. But thank you for watching this video. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, please give it a like. And if you want to, go ahead and subscribe. I would really appreciate it. Well, I'll see you next time. Bye.